Now, on one final matter, yesterday President Biden and Senate Democratic leader took time to boast about their judicial confirmations. There was something interesting, strange, and telling about their statements. Both the president and the Democratic leader focused their comments overwhelmingly on identity politics and demographic box checking. The president's statement spent literally one part of one sentence paying lip service to the question of legal qualifications. The remaining five paragraphs were devoted solely to these new judges' demographic characteristics. It was really quite bizarre. President Biden informed the American people that a particular district court in Puerto Rico will now have its first judge who is not heterosexual. He pointed out that men have been a small minority of his judicial nominees, that certain percentages of his nominees fit into certain demographic categories. He went on and on and on like this. Mr. President, most Americans want our country to keep moving forward in a direction where people's physical characteristics do not define us. Do you know what share of Americans believe race or ethnicity should be a major factor in university admissions? 7%. Do you know what percentage believe that gender should be a major factor in university admissions? 4%. But when these Democrats talk about our sacred legal system, they sound like the HR department at some liberal university. The White House statement singled out three judges by name. In all three cases, the president belabored some aspect of the judge's identity. In zero, zero of the three cases, did the president have anything to say about their knowledge, intellect, or professional distinction? 